Hey, this is Bob Hap. Thanks for coming, thanks for watching. And this is going to be episode 33 of our Let's Play Tropico 5 campaign series. When we left off, we had just finished uh, flooding some of the market with oil, and now we're asked to bring in a little bit more so that we can persuade those Swiss to give us a bank license. Um, we have huge numbers of rebels, which is fine for me because I'm just banishing them all, and uh, we just quelled our last military coup. So, let's go ahead and just get this rolling. How can I be of help? You can leave my island. Good day. You're a leader. We kill leaders. No, no, no. Good day. There we go. We'll leave the crime lords for now. I mean, they're not really doing anything. Too crazy. have enough cash, we're gonna build a bunch of ooh, we're gonna build waste treatment. That's what I was building the power plant for. It will fit there. So you are being demolished. You are being built. Old boy, I just found myself in a very peculiar situation. I just met with a very embarrassed Soviet diplomat who needs our help. It appears that the USSR needs a place to stash some parts that, I quote, have not been anywhere near Cuba. Shall we help out the poor chap? Um... No. Hi, caramba! Get on my island. Country houses. Presidente? Okay, you're leaving. Good day. You are leaving. Okay, we can't be having any elections right now. Oh boy. The military loves me now. Good. Religious are indifferent. So let's build some churches. So many environmentalists. Okay. Sir, I bring great news! At last, your dynasty member's greatest creation is complete. Years of hard work have finally paid off. Tropicans eagerly await the unveiling of the project. There's one minor problem. We still don't know what the damned thing actually is. We have to think of something quick. It's trap. Okay, how do I appease the environmentalists? Let's check out an Comrade President, during the revolution. Oh, no, Let's stick you. I mean, I guess people have to travel to you, but. Be a beachy resort. <laughs> what else can we do for the environmentalists? Oh, we've got so many new people as well. Oh, God. How many homeless? 102. Alright, well, those are going up in relatively quick order. Is there a way to lessen your... Okay. How's our coal looking? Good. 
great giant tropical spiders present. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking good there. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll just slowly work on our. Yeah. Okay. The homes are actually complete. Let's get some more cash money, and then we'll go ahead and do another row of houses. There. Okay. I have one police station there. You know, maybe I should put another one here, so I can root out all the bad guys. Will it fit though? Nope. Will it fit here? Yep. And I should probably do... Ooh, that area is ultra polluted. I am so furious. No biggies there. What was? Hmm. Research is fine. Exports are looking pretty good. Hmm. Oh, so many rebels. Greetings! Get out of here. I am so furious. An Fellow Tropicans, sharpen your pitchforks, light your torches, and bring your machetes! Whether you are defending the regime or fighting against it, it's gonna be one hell of a party! Ay, 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 ay! We will fight you in the streets and on the beaches. Oh, yeah. The villages don't really care for me, do they? They're pretty indifferent, and there's a lot of them. So, let's build some churches. Can we get rid of... That would be two plantations. That there. How can I help? Get out of here. Good evening. At your service. How can I be of help? You can get out of my island. Hi, ay, ay. <laughs> Great giant tropical spiders, Presidente. We have a crisis and we have to act fast. This unrest might be caused by my constant banishing of people. Uh, I guess we'll let it be. Viva el Presidente! We will kill leaders, though. We go back up to 60%. Presidente! We... Now that there is dissent in the USSR and the old guard can leave the scene peacefully, we need to end the delusional utopia called communism. The Soviets believe that communism 
is not only better than capitalism, but also more efficient. We can prove them wrong through a generous gift of oil from the Tropican people to the Soviet people. Cheap capitalist oil, Tropican oil, will kill expensive communist Soviet oil. Opposition will erupt like wildfire, and Gorbachev will come to power as a party reformer. The rest, as they say, or will be, history. Okay. Ooh, okay. That oil well is looking close. We barely have enough. Oh, actually. Howdy, Presidente. Not only is your oil industry lowering every energy resource price in the world, it is also fueling unforeseen world economic growth. And that means one thing, global inflation. I am happy with the effect of cornering the USSR and global inflation is always good for the US, but I suspect it may hit your island hard. So I had a little chat with our big oil companies and they agreed to invest in your economy. Okay. Effect global inflation increases building prices by 15%. Three free oil producing buildings. <sighs> Seriously. I built this two seconds before that came in. Um, road. High priority. You don't get power. You are shack. And substation. Putting oil in a good clip. How's the pollution looking? It's still pretty bad. Can you improve you? Hmm. Isn't it wonderful that the two political blocks are trying to nuke each other out of existence? We can make it. Do we have uranium? Cool. I don't think this island has uranium. I am so furious. I cannot believe what. All right, where are they? Let's just do it. It's fine. Okay, so we do have uranium. to set a good example of loyalty to other tropicans, sadly. Thank you, everyone, Rebel Leader. Good day. Awaiting orders. Hola! You are getting got rid Isn't of. Isn't it wonderful that the two political blocks... And... We have enough for an automated mine. There we go.
this up a little more. And now we wait. Those rebels. What kind of edicts can I do? Military drills start today! You know what that means, ladies? Come to the Jolly Roger quickly and get your front row seats to watch men in uniforms fight El Presidente's invisible enemies while you enjoy a refreshing mojito. And don't forget your binoculars! Okay, they like me more. Good. Environmentalists do not like me. I have one free industrial building. And we will build you. Right outside of the background. Next housing development, I suppose, will be this way. Give these guys some parking lots. I don't think we're going to build much for industry over here. Oh, shoot. Sucked us dry. Didn't even look Great for money. Giant tropical spiders, Presidente. We have a crisis and we have. That's fine, I guess. Are you 
out? No. Why are you not producing? Are there not enough Teamsters? It's not very descriptive. This building is not producing. Hmm. Okay. And now we wait. Calculate my the monies. Uh -oh. The Russians want to start formal diplomatic relations with you. However, they say something is hampering the dialogue between our great nations. Do I make one? It seems I keep underestimating your capabilities. Um, I don't think I need them. Um, I'm not going to do that. The Russians want to stop. Cigars, there we go. And I am I am so furious. Presidente, Tropicans await elections next year. They wish to show their everlasting love and respect. Presidente, isn't it? You thwart my plans for nuclear war by bringing down the USSR. And yet, the fall of the Soviet Empire allowed me to buy an ICBM at a ridiculously low price. Oh no. I've never dreamed of being in control of a nuclear ICBM. And yet here it is, a direct result of your actions. Actions always have consequences. You may believe you can control the outcome, yet the results of one's actions are always beyond anyone's plans and control. That is why I fired the ICBM to your pathetic little Tropico. Actually, to make a point. I believe it will have a strong impression on you. Well, that doesn't bode well. Hmm. Okay. Next mission. Hope. Unite the world while fighting off invasion after invasion. Oh boy. In Puerto Coco? Okay, at least we have our... Lots of, uh, we have different industries at least. We've got the tourism as well as the, uh, industrial stuff going on. Ugh, okay, well, looks like we're kind of getting close to the end here. Maybe next episode might be the last. We'll see, I don't know. We're going to cut it here and we'll pick up next time, so we will see you next time. Bye-bye.